rendering is just so awesome. I am Kenchu Dorji and I volunteer for Go Eat Go. Um, Kuzampo, I'm Kyunga Harden and I volunteer for Go Eat Go as well. GYG is a youth-led organization. Uh, basically, they help us, they give us this platform where we can initiate our own ideas and make it into realities. You know, we and our friends together, we had a lot of dreams actually because young people, they want to do so much, they want to explore. I think fashion these days is really something where we can engage our friends, our youths in it and they can have a really productive time and most importantly it has diversity in it, you know, and people aren't, they aren't just models and designers, they can grow up to be these people with confidence and they can be this, you know, dreamers as well. Uh, on fine day we were in a cafe, we were talking with our friends and while going through a magazine we saw a model wearing a dress made out of trash which is really catchy and nice um, then and there we were like we decided to you know organize a show where we could include only youths only youths not no adults at all When the show started, when the MC and all introducing our show, how it came up, it was really happy, you know. I think we were crying backstage <laughs> because we were really happy, you know. Um, the people cheering up for us and we entered and when we, the organizers were called on the stage and we entered, the, the people, you know, hundreds of people, they were like cheering up for us. That was really, that was really nice, you know. It feels like we have really achieved something. And then I never wanted that moment to end, but you know, nothing is permanent, so it has to end. <laughs> what really inspired us was the outcome. I mean, the people who really wanted to be a part of this. There were so many young people from schools, from colleges, they wanted to be a model in the show because that's when we saw that they really wanted to do a lot. You know, they wanted to be in that platform and show what they have got to show. So I think. Uh, at least you know we could do something in a small initiative as well and that that would you know that did bring and give a lot of confidence in our friends in our youths especially and uh, well we have our uh, our very good friend as well and uh, well, she was working um, she was working in different office before and after she got involved in Najinista she really knew and she was really interested as well in this um, designing uh, I stood third in the competition so that's where the whole uh, opportunity opened up for me. Currently, I'm working as a head of design for Sabah Bhutan, and when I opted for this job, the position I stood for the competition was a plus point for me to get the job. So, yeah, currently, whatever I have, the job I have right now, it's all um, thanks to GYG. I find it very exciting because it's totally what I really want to do in life. When we usually like you know hear the word volunteer, it's not a person volunteering or an, it's not about an individual. It's uh, the whole story is about you know the teamwork. We never expected anything from anyone. We it was our dream to and we really worked hard for it and it finally came true and we were we are really happy f for this and for the show Najinasta. Youth initiating these kind of shows is really you know it's really rare and this kind of huge shows it's really tough at first as i said earlier but you know if you you know keep on working volunteering that as a team then we can make anything happen my name is tb rana and uh, I'm the founder of Bhutan Youth Foundation. Bhutan Youth Foundation was born to reach out to these uh, students, uh, to reach out to this youth who were going astray with their life. No purpose. So Bhutan Youth Foundation was born to reach out to them, to save them, to make them feel that you are worthy. Don't waste your life. 
we have started a project called AHA project. Uh, it's a feeding project and where we provide food to the needy people. We have started a project called Wings in Reed Center and that's where we give free tuition uh, free of cost to the needy students. And uh, recently we have started uh, Hands of Trust. It's a project to thank the police people in partnership with them. Hands of Trust project uh, started when one find when when I saw uh, it, it was late night when I was returning home and I saw you know a group of uh, police uh, personnel they were patrolling and I it was it was drizzling and that was the time when I saw them oh my god it's so cold and they were they were doing the night patrolling and we were having a nice gala good time at home warming up in front of the heater and that was the time I felt like oh, I need to go and thank them and that was the moment when I went and uh, said thank you Levee for you know being so kind, so uh, so generous to uh, to build our community by sacrificing your comfort zone, and that was the time when I went back home. I realized, let us do something for them. In this hands of trust project, what we do is we try to collect uh, edible items like hot coffee, hot suja, uh, some snacks, buns, bath tubes, and we prepare. We prepare, and we. We reach out to the police personnel. Uh, we go to every uh, every corners of the town, wherever the patrolling people are there. So we go and distribute, and we tell them thank you so much with a warm hug. <laughs> As the coordinator for this project, uh, which was conducted occasionally on Saturday at midnight, we try to find sponsors for the uh, for the week for the Saturday. We try to find sponsors for the project, and uh, what I do as a coordinator is I try to find out how many um, police officials would be deputed for patrolling on the Saturday night, and then I try to I try to arrange either hot soup or soja or tea for them and certain snacks for them and then I even try to coordinate uh, the vehicle for that particular night. When we serve them it's just a simple cup of uh, tea or a soup but when we see them, when we, uh, when we offer them like the smile on their faces, the, 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 appre the appreciation that we receive from them, it's like Actually, we are trying to thank them, but when they thank us and when they are grateful for our uh, for our in initiative, it's it's just wonderful. If we volunteer, or if we come one step forward to do anything in building the community, to reaching the people, to saving their lives, to feeding the poor, hugging the broken one, lifting up the, the uh, sickness. Uh, you know, it is, I, I'll tell you, this is being human.